Hey friends, today it's all about multiplication strategies. Guys, multiplication is just when you share equal groups and you're just trying to figure out the total amount of things that are in equal groups. It's really just as simple as that. It is the inverse operation of division. You're trying to find the total. So let's get started. Here we have a problem today. Carrie gave six candies to four of her best friends. How much candy did she give away? Well, first of all, Carrie's really nice, isn't she? She gave six candies to four of her best friends. So, um, I can write an equation, and I can say she gave six candies to four groups of friends, and I'm trying to figure out how many candies did she give away? So six times four equals the total amount she gave away. So let's start with equal groups. We know that she gave six candies to four people. So let's make our four groups. And we already know that there are six in each group. Okay, so here we have four groups of six candies. And all I need to do to figure out how many there are total is to count all the candies. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. When I count them all, I find out that I have 24 candies. So, 6 times 4 equals 24. We know she gave away uh, 24 candies. Mm, what a nice friend. So, let's see how that looks on an array. Again, we know that Carrie gave 6 candies to four friends. So we have four groups and in each group we have six candies. So I have already one in this group so two, three, four, five, six. Okay and I'm gonna make sure there are six in each column As you can see here, if I look at this array closely, it is six long and four wide. Okay, it's a six by four array, which represents our equation, six times four. So to find out the total, you need to count all of the objects in the array. So you've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So again, we find out that she gave away a total of twenty-four candies. We know from this array that six times four equals twenty-four. So, because we're trying to get to the total, we know that repeated addition will work in multiplication. We know that our problem is 6 times 4. You know, when we're trying to get to the total um, with multiplication, we're starting at 0, okay? And we um, need to do addition over and over. We can add 6 4 times because we have four groups of six, okay? So we're gonna add six four times. So first, what I want you to think about, remember you're starting at zero, and you're going plus six. Zero plus six lands us at six. Now I need to go again. I'm gonna hop forward six more. Six plus six lands me at 12. Remember, I need to go four times, and I've only gone one, two hops. So I need to go again. 
plus 6 more, 12 plus 6, will put me at 18 on the number line. That was my third group of 6. I still need one more hop plus 6. 18 plus 6 lands me at 24, and that was my fourth hop. So as you can see here, I just added 6 four times, and it got me to my total. 24 is the total. You can also do that without the number line, where um, if we're doing uh, 6 times 4, uh, we can just add 6 four times. So let me show you uh, what I mean. 6 plus 6 equals 12. As you can see here, I've added 6 one time and two times. So I still need to add it two more times because I'm trying to add it four times, okay? So I'm going to take this total here, 12. I'm going to add 6 again, plus 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. Now I have added uh, 6. This is my third time to add it. I added it here, here, and here, which still means because I need to add it four times, I need to add it one more time. So I'll add it here, 18 plus 6. And I know 18 plus 6 is 24. And if you look overall, I added 6 one, two, three, four times. And 6 times 4 is four groups of six. So I got to my final answer, 24. Let's take a look at what multiplication looks like on a strip diagram. Remember that I know that um, she gave away six candies each to four friends. Okay, so I know that if this is all the candy she has, I'm not sure how much it is total, but I know she gave it to four friends, right? So we have four sections that this candy is in, and each one, she gave six to this friend, six to this friend, six to this friend, six to this friend. This strip, strip diagram just shows you that if you add up six, four times, you're going to get to that total of 24. So this is kind of what a strip diagram looks like when you have multiplication. Last but not least, guys, don't ever forget your fact families. They really help you solve problems. Six times four, we now know is 24. Because of the commutative property, we know that four times six is also 24. But don't forget our division, friends. That is our inverse operation. Remember in division, the total comes first, right? So 24 would be first. And I can divide that by her four friends, and we know that she gave each friend six candies. But I can also say that 24 divided by six equals four. These are the facts in this fact family for multiplication and division. I know that uh, you can show multiplication also, so what I'd love to see is if you can do, this is a big problem, I hope you're ready for it, but I would love to see if you can show 8 times 6 in your own way. So now imagine that she's giving 8 candies to 6 friends, and let's find out how many candies she gives away altogether. I know you're going to do a great job. Have fun using your new multiplication strategies.